In this video, I'm going to show you how to add these exercise category selector boxes to your workout template so that as I select the different categories, only these exercises are selectable in my drop down menus for my program. So, as you can see, I'm changing the categories here and the exercises are automatically updating to reflect that choice. This is going to be really powerful for different programming templates if you want to limit the amount of exercises that you see in your drop down menus to make your programming more efficient. So let's get after it. Okay, so we're back and we are starting off with a blank template. And this is actually the template that I show you how to make in my build a workout with Google Sheets video. And if you're interested in how we've gotten this far, I will link that video in the description below. And after you've created the template, then you can pick up in this video where I'm gonna show you how to add that exercise category selector. Now, in order to get this started, the first thing I'm going to want to do is just create a little space here on the left hand side to create the selector. So what I'll do here is just up at the top here, I'm going to right click and insert a column and then I'm going to um, select both columns, right click, insert two more columns and I'm just going to take B and C here, select them both and just make them a little bit bigger. And then the way that I like to do this and is I like to have the words category and selected. And this is going to be the area where I create my checkboxes. Um, and then just to pull them out from the template, I'll make these red and maybe make the font white. And it just makes it look like something different from the actual template. Now from there, what we can do is actually add our checkboxes in right away. So I'm just going to go from column C7 here all the way down and I'll just add a bunch of them in so that we're able to kind of do this easily. And I'm just going to go to insert and then um, checkbox. So now all of those checkboxes are there and they're going to be usable as we create our categories. So interestingly enough, what's important to note here is for a cat for a checkbox, if I've selected it, it has a value of true. And if it is um, unselected, it has a value of false. So whenever we're referencing these in formulas, we need to reference whether this is true or false, depending on what we want it to be um, equal to. Now, now that we've created this part of our actual template, the next piece of this puzzle is to actually put together um, an exercise list. So I've got an exercise list um, already basically started here where I would type in my exercise names and then select a category from a dropdown. And then I'm going to create a formula to tell me whether that exercise is selected or not. So let's type in some exercises here. Let's say bench press, push-ups, um, lat pull-down, chin-ups, um, let's say back squat, front squat, um, let's say I don't know, hamstring curl and RDL. So these will be all of my dummy exercises for the purposes of this video. You could make this list as long or extensive as you want and you could have any number of categories here. To create my categories, all I've done is just selected the cells that I want them in and I've gone to um, data, data validation and used list of items and I've just created the different categories that I want and separated them by a comma. And then when I hit save, I'm able to actually select these categories now. So let's put them in now. So bench press, upper push, um, lat pull down, upper pull. And then we got our lower knee dominant and our lower hip dominant. So from here, what I want to do is actually pull those categories into um, my basically workout template. So what I'll use here is right under here, I'm going to use the formula unique and I'm going to type equals unique. And I'm using unique because I only want to pull out each category once. So unique, open that up and I'm going to basically select this whole column B2 all the way down B. So it's basically going to take all of these categories and just list them for me right here on the right hand side. And I'm just going to bold them to pull them out. Now to start this process, I'm going to select all of them because I want all of them to be represented in my drop-down menus in a second. So 
if I go back to my exercise list, what I want to do is create a formula here that looks to see if I've selected it. And then if I have, it assigns a value of true here. And then I want to create my drop down list to basically just be selectable from all of the exercises that have a value of true. So to do this, we can use a match formula. And what this is going to look like is it's going to look like equals match. Open this up. The actual category I want to search for is upper push and then comma. Where I want to search for it is actually um, a range of all of the ones that are selected true. So I'm going to type here filter, open this up, and the range that I'm looking for is going to be all of these here. So basically B7 to B17. I'm going to lock those in because I know those aren't going to change. So basically what I'm doing is filtering out all the ones that have a value of true. Okay, so the way filter works is it asks me for the range and then um, pull out all the ones that have a value of true. Um, close that off and then false. And then um, I'm going to hit enter. So basically what this is saying is how many matches are there to B2, which in this case is upper push, in the filter of all of the ones that are true, and then um, false just means that they're not sorted. So if I were to drag this down, I should have a one basically for all of these. Whoops. So what that's doing is it's just changing my range. So one sec, I just need to lock in this video range, and then as I drag it down, it's saying um, what place is that range. So basically, in this case, it's in place one, place two, place three, place four. So as I'm going through, it's one, two, three, and four. So that all makes sense. So now the next thing that we want to do is check to see if that um, is greater than zero. Because basically, if it's greater than zero, then it has a match. So what I'll do is take this match formula and wrap it in an if. So I'll type if, open that up. If this whole um, match is greater than zero, then I want to assign it a value of true. Otherwise, I'm just going to close it off. So you can see now, as we go through, it gives us a value of true for each one. Now, to make this automated, the last thing that I can do here is I will wrap this in an array formula. So in front of my if, I'll type in array formula, open that up, and instead of just looking at B2, now I want to look at B2 all the way to B, and I'll close this off at the end, and what you're going to notice is with one formula, it's going to go down and do the entire column, and the last thing that I want to do is to remove all of these errors. So how I can do that is in front of this array formula, I'm just going to say if error, open that up, and then at the end, if there is an error, comma, double quotations means I want it blank, and then enter, and you can see now we've removed all those errors. So basically what this looks like is with one formula, it's checking to see if this category is selected, and if it is, it assigns it a value of true. So let's unselect some of those categories and see what happens. So you can see only the ones that are selected have a value of true. The other ones just have a value of blank. Okay, so we will select them all one more time. Now, from there, what we want to do is pull out all of these exercises based on whether or not they have a value of true. So what I can do here is an easy filter formula. And I can type in equals filter, and I will filter column A2 to A. So that whole column based on C2 to C and close that off and you can see right away we're pulling out all of those exercises and then as I unselect some of them you're going to see that exercise list change right away. Okay. The last thing that we might want to do is if my exercise list becomes really messy over time and let's say I add in, um, I don't know, let's say down here we add in um, military press 
and that would be classified as an upper push. And then when I do my video, if I unselect these two, now I have my bench press push-ups and military press, but I have these two exercises in the middle. So maybe I want to sort it by the actual category. So the way we can do that is, instead of just filtering out the exercise, I'm going to put a squiggly bracket around there, and then comma, and we'll filter out the actual category. So B2 to B, squiggly bracket, okay. And you can see it's just recreating that list. But now let's wrap this in a sort function. So I'm going to say sort, open this up, and what it's going to ask me for is the column at the end. Let's sort by the second column, and we'll say true for ascending, and close it off. And now what this does is just make sure that everything's ordered so that when we go to select it, um, everything, all of the different types of exercises from the same category are together. So the last step here is just creating our drop down menu here. So what I can do here is I'll just do day one. I'll select all of the days under day one, go to data, data validation, and we're going to choose a list from range. And for my range, I'll just select the little spreadsheet icon, go to exercise video, and I'm just going to select E2 basically all the way to E. I'm going to lock that in with some dollar signs because I don't want that one to change. So basically what it's going to look like, look at is this whole column. I'll hit OK and save. And when I go back here, I should be able to select my exercises. So you can see right now we can select hamstring curl, RDL, and then all of my upper pushes. But if I turn off upper pushes, you can see now it's just hamstring RDL. Or maybe if I turn on upper pull and knee, you can see those exercises now added. So basically I can go through and select all of my different exercises, turning on and off the categories as I need to use it. And it just makes it a lot easier for me to select and create my programs um, with exercise categories rather than having to type in the exercise each time. So I hope this trick helps you out. And if it does, if you could please like and subscribe to the channel, that would really help me out, as well as if you could share this video with someone who you think would find value in it. That also helps the channel grow. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.